Okay, thank you so much. Uh, it's really uh, nice to see so many of you here. And, and uh, what I'm doing, if I get this open, yes, I do. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the background of the project, or actually what we what we aim, are aiming with the with this project, and and later on we can kind of link the results and the, the discussion what is uh, coming coming on uh, during the days so uh, to to the to the project. So uh, the theme today is footprints of food uh, and from data to awareness, and awareness is one of the the big issues of of the whole the project. And uh, how, uh, what we do, uh, uh, what do we know about the environmental impacts of food, and how do we uh, do it in Project Food Web? Food Web is uh, the the total or the name is actually a Baltic Environment, Food and Health, from habits to uh, to awareness, and you you see the awareness is uh, even in a in a title on the on the right side you you see the the partners who have been who have been working for this project one and a half years already uh, so the leader leader of the project is mtt agri food research finland which you the logo you you uh, see in the in the right hand corner and then we have the finnish environment institute uh, where what what has a logo suke and then we have the University of Latvia and University, University of Tartu and the AHAR Center, which has the logo, uh, I mean, uh, this one, this one here. And then we have here the, the uh, kind of figures of the, of the uh, funding body, which is uh, EU uh, Interreg funding, and we are belonging to the Central Baltic, uh, Central Baltic Interreg uh, program. And uh, actually, we have we have a, a, a specific logo for the for the project, which is in the in the right hand uh, corner, the the lowest one. So these are the uh, the actual uh, working frames of of the project. We uh, look today. Uh, first, about the, uh, I mean, more uh, kind of ge uh, geographic uh, uh, frames. So we are we are working on on Baltic Sea food shed, which you which you can see here, and we have we are looking uh, uh, the the field areas around the food shed, and here is the topographic map, and uh, if I show. A uh, little bit more. So uh, the red area is the area wh what is valid for uh, Baltic Sea Interreg project. So, so the coastal coastal areas around uh, Baltic Sea is is kind of uh, the area for for uh, where this funding body aims to or focuses. And uh, then uh, we can see also that that we are. Uh, uh, Kind of working in, in a fairly fairly populated area. Here is the density, density of the population in 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 Finland and Estonia and 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 Latvia. And uh, this uh, uh, this picture uh, picture, uh, picture uh, tries to figure out uh, what we do. So actually, we are in this project focusing on on interaction between uh, the sea and uh, the food shed or watershed around the sea. And we, we look at the impacts from the, the uh, 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 watershed to the sea and from the sea to food shed of the, of the area. I'll uh, speak a little bit more about that later on. So the actual uh, situation when we were uh, kind of uh, 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 thinking and 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 uh, building up the the ideas for this project was that okay there is a fairly fairly uh, strong conflict of interest when we are looking at the Baltic Sea. You, uh, everybody of you know uh, it's it's quite a critical discussion going on even even now. Uh, 
anyhow, uh, Baltic Sea is uh, our mutual full, uh, watershed. So we, um, they, there should be mutual interest in that. Uh, and uh, the watershed is highly linked to food shed. I mean, the, the food uh, production area around the watershed or in the watershed. And uh, the linkage between uh, land area C as a, as a framework of, of uh, an aquatic resource and re regional uh, food consumption, these are all uh, highly linked together. And then the fact that agri agriculture is the, the most important economic activities which is causing uh, pollution of of uh, lakes and and sea. In in terms of uh, Baltic Sea, we of course have quite a number of others. We have we have the tra traffic on on the uh, on the sea and and just recently we have heard about uh, some some uh, very close uh, closely happened uh, oil oil catastrophe in in the in the sea, which actually uh, I mean. Because I, I was a really big success that that it actually didn't happen. Uh, when we are looking at the uh, the Baltic Sea a little bit carefully, uh, we know that it is it is the uh, the brackish water. It's uh, the second largest uh, brackish water sea area in the world. It's fairly it's uh, one million six hundred thousand uh, square kilometers. It is shallow. Uh, salinity, is, salinity is low, and, and uh, fre uh, due, to, uh, due to the fresh water runoff near the coast, the surface salinity is, uh, increases quite quite uh, quite well, and the difference between the the, the surface and the, the lower uh, 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 lower uh, areas of the of the sea is, is quite quite big. Uh, Still more, uh, little uh, more uh, issues about the sea. Um, we have, we, we are aiming or actually facing the accelerating eutrophication of the of the sea, and and uh, we we uh, almost every every year uh, face the the oxygen depletion there, and we know that we are getting getting harmful substances from the sea. Resulting to the uh, to the uh, human uh, from the human activity, and we are getting that also the, to to food, if it is coming from the from the aquatic source. Uh, actually, uh, this was the, that's, uh, that was the geographical and biological background when we were looking at the uh, the time when we were planning this this project. We already knew that we have quite a lot of tools. We already had the carbon footprint in an initiative, initiative, initiating phase. We already even had the water foot, footprint, and we had some some products in Finland which had uh, actually both of these labels: the Elovena brand, uh, the the repre representative of, of a company is speaking in the in the afternoon in this seminar. Uh, and uh, also, uh, in a European level and global uh, global level, we had uh, several t uh, different types of labels, which were referring to environmental impacts and environmental sustainability. Some of them more narrow, uh, facing on 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 or focusing on on footprints. Some of them more uh, broad, facing uh, on on uh, more. Uh, extensive area of sustainability and and sustainability of food or other products uh, the aim ob objective of this uh, project is actually awareness so that is the that's the base, basic thing how to how to raise public awareness of, of this situation and also the tools what we have already available most of the tools uh, are uh, more or less linked uh, to the use of life cycle assessment, so from gradle to grave of, of the food chain. Um, what is what was a kind of um, 
a new and perhaps uh, innovative thing in this project was that we we focus on these two-way impacts. Uh, impact from uh, land area to, to the sea, from production on the land area to the sea, and, and uh, uh, then backwards from the material which we are taking uh, from, from sea, I mean aquatic resources, what kind of impact we have uh, with that on, on our food. It, uh, actually, safety, safety of food. And uh, actually, the, of course, the final aim is to, to build up a mutual understanding of, and also build up self-efficacy. Self-efficacy actually means how everybody of us feel, what kind of uh, power we have to, to, to make changes or, or make, I mean, environmentally enhancing decisions. So self-efficacy is, is a very personal personal uh, issue. Uh, additionally, uh, to, to, to the, uh, I mean, direct focuses, uh, we, uh, in terms of methodology, we had an uh, aim to, to build up uh, R&D collaboration, opening uh, sources of data in, uh, between these countries, uh, building uh, even some more new tools or at, le at least interpret the present tools to a new context and, and, and make them more helpful to e people. Uh, build up uh, food choice models, you see some, uh, some of them uh, today, and uh, build up a knowledge base facilitation, which means the AHA Center uh, exhibition and also uh, some of that exhibition to be distributed to some to other countries from 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 Tartu. Uh, and ad additionally, uh, I mean, uh, when we are working on Interreg project, the the basic uh, I mean aim in Interreg collaboration is uh, to build up cross border uh, collaboration uh, cross and cross border culture. And this culture is is being built between between uh, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland. We actually had in the beginning also Sweden in this project, but unfortunately they had to had, they had to uh, leave leave uh, out before we we could send the proposal. But anyhow, we have this cross border collaboration. Uh, in terms of future, we focus on young families and schools. Because uh, when we are thinking about uh, making changes uh, in, in a such a big extent as, as Baltic Sea, we can't think uh, that happen in two or one or two years, even in, in 10 or 20 years. It might happen in, in 30 or 50, uh, between 30 and 50 years. And, and in that case, we have to focus the, the young, young generation. And uh, of course, already now, and, and even this uh, seminar is, is one uh, activity by which we uh, try to build up partnership between different stakeholders, from research and development, from, uh, from training to, to companies and to, to enterprises. Uh, the uh, uh, chosen methods, what we, what we have been, uh, uh, of course, start, started to work. Uh, is the survey on baseline situation. We had a feasibility study in which we, we were looking at what is, what is the actual, actual situation, uh, what, has been, what it has been uh, about five years ago, because it was a, it was a, it was a backward survey. What are, what are the, the critical points, constraints, and bottlenecks to go on? And, and build, build up a couple of hypotheses how, how to go on. Uh, we, were, uh, we have been building up communication strategies by uh, building up uh, data matrices and also uh, building up collective learning process to, to kind of interpret this data to our understanding. Uh, what we are actually doing now uh, we are uh, building, or we have been building, the worst versions of, of basic tools for modeling food choices. And uh, I, I mean, 
uh, finalizing, finalizing those that's happening now and uh, actually building up such a kind of decision support systems which we can distribute by web page and which can be taken in, in, the, in the exhibitions and kind of train people to use them, uh, I mean face to face in, in exhibition. So those are the, uh, we are about halfway, so we are uh, kind of working on the, on the, uh, on the number three, uh, um, uh, number three, A, B, uh, the first part of, of that. Uh, this is just for administration. So, so the work packages, we have three work packages. First is, is the management of the, of the project and coordination. This has been done quite a lot in, in Finland, but of course in each country, because each, each country has a specific uh, uh, kind of uh, proceedings or, or ways to work for the management. So uh, everybody is, of course, taking part of that. Uh, second part is the most important, actually. It is the largest part, uh, uh, working on data and, and analysis. And the third is the, the outreach and, and uh, communication, which is very much, I mean, uh, uh, the tools, how to distribute the tools uh, to, to people, and uh, the exhibition, build up of exhibition in, is on, on that field. Uh, expected uh, results, knowledge base, uh, friendly parts to the knowledge. At present, uh, we everybody of us know that we know a lot of knowledge, but how how to direct ourselves to the to the to the knowledge which is actually important? So, what is the path? Uh, how to build of, of build up networks of stakeholders, network networks of in our uh, situation, especially to of teachers, which are working with the young generation. <laughs> And and uh, how to build up a exhibition which is a knowledge knowledge based and really, I mean, uh, building up knowledge to the people who are coming to look at that. Uh, then about the partnership, of course, uh, the the mutual challenges we have is the decrease in potential uh, of, of the ecosystem services in in the uh, politics area growing pressure, uh, pressure to food uh, production, to safer food uh, production on these areas, food safety in terms of pollutants, and related risks and challenges uh, for the responsibility of risk management, and, and uh, which is set by public food chain. Uh, these actions have been, uh, I mean, performed now, with uh, with uh, uh, MTT as a as a leading partner and the other partners and really we have three years project and we are more or less halfway, so this is the we had a feasibility seminar uh, and then this is the second one, a little bit larger, uh, uh, I mean seminar that we have, and then at the end we have the the final seminar, so with this. Uh, uh, I mean, presentations of the of the project. I'd like to welcome everybody of you here and 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 encourage you to build up the discussion and and use the the uh, I mean the knowledge of the of the uh, project people and also to to offer your knowledge because it certainly everybody has a very critical knowledge. Uh, in terms of this issue. So I encourage everybody of you just to offer your, your knowledge to the, to the mutual use in, in this, in this uh, issue and, and, and today. Okay, thank you so much.